Hey guys, this is Joshua Meeks with Keller Williams Realty in downtown Puyallup, your local realtor. I've started doing weekly videos to talk about hot topics in the real estate industry and as somebody who's been involved in the construction industry for over 10 years, I've noticed contractors has become a really important issue for both realtors and for sellers and buyers. So a question that I often get is how do you qualify a contractor from agents and that becomes applicable and important because they're dealing with people who have been victims of poor contractors, of negligent contractors, of contractors that have really put clients, um, both buyers and sellers, in a really hard, difficult position to uh, really proceed into their next level, whether it's buying their next home or selling their home that they've put a lot of love and work into. So that's what I wanted to talk about this week. Um, really, I'm going to just throw out six things that can help you to qualify contractors, either as a real estate agent or as a, somebody who, who owns a home and is just looking for a good contractor. So number one thing that you want to ask for is portfolio. What else have you done? Where else have you been? What does your work look like? And that is consistent with the second thing, which is your references. Do you have not only work that I could see, maybe even projects that I can see pictures of, that you've taken pictures of, that you've compiled lists of, but you have references, tangible people that I can actually reach out and talk to and ask about your ethic, about your work behavior, about the quality of your work, about what that work looks like a year, two years down the road from now. Um, another thing is just really simple in this day and age, just Google them. You know, you have all the technology in the world at your hands, so take advantage of it. If a contractor comes to you and they're claiming to, you know, have been in the industry for a long time or that they have a great record, that they can do everything and anything you ask and they say, oh yeah, I'm great at that, I'm an expert at that, Google them. See if they're actually a legitimate contractor, if they're licensed, if they're bonded, if they're insured, and if they have recommendations or reviews online. Uh, another thing is Angie's List. I'm a subscriber of Angie's List. I'm not getting paid by Angie's List to um, to promote them, but I've noticed it's been fantastic. I have used them on multiple occasions for contractors personally and contractors that I've referenced out. So uh, one more thing is ask a realtor. Just ask a local realtor. We have to deal with contractors all the time and there are weekly emails that consistently um, go throughout the office. People asking for landscapers, for framers, for roof roofers, for foundation specialists, for a septic specialist. Pretty much every subcontractor or general contractor you, you could think of, we've had to um, deal with and we've seen the good and the bad and the ugly. So definitely ask a realtor. And finally, check your gut. I mean, sometimes you can just know by you know, you're having a relationship with somebody, you've talked to them and something inside just says, you know, this something just isn't right. Trust that instinct because the probability is that you're discerning something that's very valid and I just would encourage you to go with that. Um, if there was anything else, I would say shop around. You know, there's plenty of contractors just like there's plenty of realtors. So feel free to shop around. If, if you're with somebody and they've given you an estimate, don't feel like you're that like you have some guilty obligation to go with them because they've given you some of their time that equals out in the books for them in the end to give you that estimate so definitely shop around ask a couple contractors to give you an estimate and compare them sometimes you'll notice the difference between the first and second is already substantial so uh, make sure you comment on the video if you have any other things or suggestions that, that you've noticed in your industry that have really helped you find contractors that work make sure you comment on there uh, and just let everybody else know what they are. And finally, if there's other videos that you'd be interested in knowing about, you know, just other topics in the real estate industry, preferably, that, that you would uh, like to see videos on, please let me know. So thank you for your time. Bye.